kill him properly this time. All right, Logan, you ready? We gotta go film. We gotta get ready to film for tomorrow. Logan, Sucks. what the? Oh my God, Logan! Hey, best deck. Let's go, Logan. Look, my name's not Logan. It's Chad now. Ben Best Deck, baby, that's what I want to see. Let's go. Today's video is going to be a guest upload. Shades only, by the way. You pull out your shades right now, boys. Pull out your shades. This is a shades only video. Shades only for all the chads. Let's go. Pen only. But it's not going to be pen only today. We're going to be doing guest upload with my friends at Crush Card. The best, sickest, cutest Yugi couple in the game. If you guys don't know them yet, they're a uh, joy to watch. New YouTubers, big fan of them. Go check them out down in the description below. I'm going to be talking about the new, hot, hype deck of the meta that Pendulum destroys, but that destroys everything else. So go check it out right now. And before we get into the video, there's going to be a gigantic surprise. We are releasing a brand new playmat for one day only. It's my personal favorite playmat. They're going to talk about it. They got it themselves. It's a beautiful playmat right here. One day only in honor of Crush Cards. The same mat that I've given them as a gift a while back. Kill him properly this time. Beautiful. Let's kill him properly. Skull come back here and play my baby. Let's go. Play your Numeron decks. Play your pen decks. Play every deck on this beautiful, incredible, sexy play mat. Let's go. Limited one day only. One day only. Get yours now. Trift sleeves are in the works and they're going to be ready very soon. The first five to purchase the beautiful uh, Let's Kill Him Properly Joker Kieran Iris double play mat will receive free trift sleeves when they get released. So with that being said, Brian, Logan, or should I say Chads? Welcome to the channel. Let's get it, boys. What's up, everybody? This is Brian. And I'm Logan, and this is Tops. Yep. For those of you who aren't familiar for the channel, we are Crush Cards. We started our own little community, and it's been a real blast. We're almost at 17,000 subscribers already. It's really great. It's been it's crazy. crazy. It's 11 months of like, whoa. Yeah, whoa. Right, Tops? Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, baby. We've only been playing for literally less than like uh, yeah. a year and a half. Yeah, we, been... yeah we just started playing the game. Small we walked time. into it. I don't know how I got invited. It's a whole mystery <laughs> to me. But we've started a really strong community, so please come check us out. We're crush cards. We're a lot of fun. We have a bunch of stuffed animals. We have a good time. <laughs> and if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe to our channel. I'm sure Triff has put the links in the description box down below. But speaking of subscribing, if you're not already a subscriber to Triff's channel, what you are you doing? Subscribe. Yeah, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, throw the video a like, and then comment what you think of all of our silly alpacas. And while you're down there, get yourself a freaking pendulum playmat, baby. What are you doing? <laughs> Double-sided cloth pendulum playmats, TriffGaming.com. What are you doing? Why are you a pendulum player not playing on that? Value. So that being said, we wanted to showcase a brand new deck that just came out about a week ago. It's quote unquote tier zero, but y'all are pendulum players. You don't need to worry about tier Bang. zero because pen best deck. But we wanted to showcase a Numeron Eldritch build, something mm -hmm. we've been piloting for about a week or so now. We tweaked it a little bit to like kind of combat the metagame and then just showcase different matchups. So that being said, before we get into the video, we just wanted to say thank you to Triff for having us today because he's perfect, super cute, has an adorable cat and dim meow make sure you say hi to the cat in the comments and like the video because Drift deserves it the guy works his butt off he's absolutely nuts but we wouldn't have it any other way without him so Amen. do it for Trip, not for us but maybe for us too but anyway let's get into the deck hey. profile we won't keep you guys waiting any longer let's do it look! let's go so know a lot of people right now are doing like dueling book deck profiles, which is totally cool. But for us and our channel, we really like to do the actual card by card, not mm -hmm. only because we have them, but just it's like, we miss playing in hand like physical Yu-Gi-Oh. So this just gives us that reminiscence of it. And it's just a whole different feel to having the physical cards in your hands. I don't know. Like we actually have to sit there and read them when they're in our hands and I'm dueling book. I don't know. We're just, yeah. we're just, we just like to touch stuff. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so that being said, let's just get right into the actual list. So starting off, we are only playing two copies of Eldritch the Golden Lord. This is definitely like a controversial topic. I think a lot of decks are now kind of veering towards two. At the beginning, a lot of people were playing three. They're like, oh, it's an Eldritch deck. You have to play three Eldritch. You don't. I mean, like, this card is mainly a brick. Yes, it's Europrint if it looks beautiful. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We also know that you guys are pendulum players and you're probably a little bit better than most people so that being said y'all probably know exactly what this card does but just like a real quick overview if this card's in your hand you can send himself and then a spell trap from your hand to the graveyard to send a card on the field which is really cool it helps you go second break boards and then in the graveyard you could pop a spell or trap on your side of the field and then add him back to your hand to special summon himself really really cool level 10 he's like the main boss monster the basically like the only real monster in the entire deck so yeah i'll at two you don't have to play him at three two copies is more than enough 
And then we're playing triple copies of Numeron Wall. This is a Numeron Eldritch deck. So that being said, this is basically just like another copy of your field spell. You just play six with Terraformer, you play seven. Quick effect, you can just activate it whenever. If you control no cards, you activate the field spell directly from your deck or your hand. So they can't even ash it. Really, really strong. It just searches your field spell like this. You want to maximize on playing this because you want to maximize on your chance of seeing the field spell as soon as possible. And then we're playing triple copies of Magician Souls. This is one of those cards that like a lot of people seem to be kind of sketchy on with the numerous engine because you can't control any cards but like you're not always going to be guaranteed to draw those cards so if you open this it's so much better because you just get to like send two cards draw two cards this card's pot of greed like why would you not play pot of greed at three in your deck if you could and then most of your cards benefit in the graveyard anyways by like banishing to set other spells and traps so this card's absolutely insane and like i guess the only piece of advice is like if you draw this and your numeron engine depending on your matchup depending on like what your hand looks like figure out and make an educated decision as to what play you actually want to commit to so like it's not bad to run this and another engine you're not always guaranteed to see one one or the other so this is a three card engine like it's really really strong and it just draws you cards and then for our spicy tech option uh, a lot of people are choosing to play the apprentice illusion magician instead we're choosing to play double copies of dimension shifter in the main deck you can open this card and it's absolutely insane it's basically a walking macrocosmos anything sent to the graveyard is banished instead the only stipulation is that you have to have no cards in your graveyard so it's only good going first or going second if you open it but that being said it is a level six or higher spellcaster monster so you can send it off of your magician souls as opposed to drawing a brick so mm -hmm. we would much rather have a hand trap that basically shuts off the entire graveyard and then like that being said you're playing eldritch so if you're going first you can just set a bunch of cards and it doesn't matter regardless yeah it's just a really strong blowout card and it has really good synergy with this deck so why not yeah it's it's really good this card's insane and then to finish out the hand trap lineup we are playing double copies of ash blossom enjoy spring secret forehead yeah of course like a lot of people are playing feet and it's incorrect <laughs> I think a lot of people are also playing hand traps to stop a deck like this. This is one of those like set pass decks, so it's really, really cool that you don't really like have to play a lot of hand traps. A lot of decks choose to, but you'll see why we're not. We're playing a bunch of different stuff instead to counteract the metagame and the mirror match because this deck is very, very interesting in the mirror match. So that being said, Double Ash, if y'all want to play three, go ahead, play three. We are playing in perm in the trap lineup, so like seven hand traps feels like more than enough. This deck is like interruption dot deck. So Double Ash, if you want to play three, play three, totally up to you. This is just the build that we've decided to go with. And then moving off for our our spells we are playing six field spells three of which are the numeron network this card is ridiculous this card is basically a one card zexo so during your main phase you can send one numeron normal spell card that meets its activation requirement from your deck to the graveyard as cost so once again can't even ash it it's like it's absolutely nuts and then this card becomes the effect that you sent so what you're gonna send is your numeron calling calling says basically make zexo for free y'all know exactly what the card does like this is so so good and in this deck that has a ton of room we would rather play this as opposed to like six thousand hand traps you can play other cards but like this engine plus the eldritch spells and traps that just pop and dd crow your opponent's cards like it's just really good plus a searchable counter trap like this deck is like an auto win and then moving on to the other three field spells we are playing the one copy of terraforming because it searches you your field spells uh, uh what's coming and then we're playing what? double copies oh of mystic God. mind in and the main that's deck. where everyone clicks away <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean mystic mind is just such a strong card it's one of those cards that like it forces an out from your opponent and like even if you see it and you don't need it it's cool because like you can just send it off magician souls to draw more cards it's really really good and like arguably this is becoming a back row format but that being said there's still a ton of combo decks that do not main outs to this game one so like this is an auto win game one or if your opponent doesn't see it game one it's an auto win game two and three like you can side the third you can take these out and play more hand traps but in testing main decking mystic mine is just unreal like it, it literally wins games on itself and you have your own outs built in to just pop this and then overlay a network or you can always just conquistador your own mystic mine away so whenever you want to get out of it to kill your opponent you get to control the tempo of this game that's why we're playing double copies because it's a tempo card i love good music <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and then as we said double copies of numeron calling this card basically just lets you summon a bunch of numeron monsters from your extra deck for free allows you to make zexel allows you to make mega clops like it's it's just so free the, the card's insane you play two because you don't want a hard open one and then not have a target live in deck playing three is way too bricky and just way too much so we found that two is the perfect number and then as we said it's kind of wrapping up to be a back row format so we're choosing the main deck triple copies of cosmic cyclone personal opinion hot take y'all can you know like criticize us if you're wrong but this card at three in the main 
main deck Nutty. is probably like going to be a staple from here on out. Bananas. If any of you guys are into the online format, I mean, Guru is taking over. Geist is seeing a lot more play. Eldritch is seeing a ton more play. Well, yeah, Numeron Guru is like a thing now. Yeah, and y'all are Pendulum players. Like, hit the scales. It's really, really good. So, main deck Cosmic Cyclone is something that nobody sees. And that's what this deck is trying to do. That's what we tried to build this deck to do, is just make it so your opponent really doesn't see a lot of your plays coming. Because Numeron Eldritch is something that everyone knows, and it's just like, it's super generic at this point, but we just wanted to showcase a different build and a different play style to a generic deck. And then moving off to the Eldritch Spells and Traps, we are playing the best non-field spell, field spell in the deck. <laughs> this card, like, it, it literally is a field spell. I have no idea how that's not a field spell. This card says pay 800 life points, search Eldritch or any Golden Land spell trap directly from your deck to your hand. It's really not a, you get to search anything you need. Search your counter trap, search your pop, search your DD Crow, search your boss monster, like, at the cost of 800 life points. It, it's nuts. It's, it's really, really good. And then, of course, if this card is sent from the field of the graveyard, you get to Foolish Burial, any of your Golden Land spells and traps directly from your deck to the graveyard too, to banish to set more cards. It's just like, it's nutty. This card is super duper nutty. You can control whether this card gets popped or not. Like you can pop your own cards to get more resources. And then we are playing the one copy of the in archetype monster reform. For any of you guys who do not know how the Eldlixers work, all the Eldlixers banish to set golden lands and all the golden lands banish to set Eldlixers. The white destiny just allows you to special summon one zombie monster from your hand or graveyard. But if you don't control Eldlich, you special summon Eldlich. The only monsters you're really playing in the deck are Eldlich minus like your Numeron cards and your hand trap. So you want to just special summon Eldlich to make all of your back row live. And then of course, into the trap lineup, we are playing triple copies of Eldlixer of Scarlet Sanguine. This is obviously the best card in the deck. This card is a special summon from your deck or graveyard. Obviously, it's just for Eldritch. It specials Eldritch. It's chainable. It's it's just nutty. And then of course, it is an Eldlixer card, so you can banish it to set Golden Land spell traps directly from your deck. If you're ever playing against this deck and you have an Ash, this is the card. Like, Ash this card. And then moving off into the Golden Land spells and traps, we are playing triple copies of Conquistador. Conquistador is just your pop, non-targeting. It is destruction, but like, it's any face up card on the field. It can be yours. It can be your opponent's. You can out your own stuff. You can out any problematic card that your opponent has. As long as you control Eldritch, this card not only becomes a monster, but just destroys any card on the field. And then being a golden land, it can banish itself in the graveyard to set Eldlixers. If I didn't say it before, all of these cards have two effects. You can only activate one of which per turn. So if you activate this on your opponent's turn to like pop something, you can't banish it the same turn to set. You have to wait till your turn. So it's relatively fair, but like this deck is still mana. It's not fair. And then we are playing triple copies of Hakero of the Golden Land. This is your in archetype DD Crow. If you control Eldritch, flip this, becomes a monster, and then you just banish any monster in either player's graveyard. So like, this is really cool because if your opponent activates a card to search and you Ash and then they try to call by, you can chain this, banish your own Ash, therefore the call by misses the timing. Whoa. It's really, yeah, I mean, it's super cool. Like, Great. these cards are such utility in this deck. And then, searchable are playing the one counter trap. If you control Eldritch, basically just, no, your opponent can't play anything, like just negate the activation of anything. Just tributes to zombie monster, which is fine. You're gonna have a bunch of traps on the field that are zombies anyway, so like, this card's just insane. And then for hand traps, we are playing triple copies of Impermanence. This card is probably just the best hand trap in the entire game right now. I mean, now. it's Imperm. It's very strong. Yeah, y'all know what Imperm does. Locks up columns, we know what it does. And then last but not least, you gotta play another blowout card because it makes pendulum players feel really bad and just everyone in general. Skill drain! We're <laughs> yeah. playing one skill drain in the main. Yeah, this card's ridiculous. I think we're choosing to play 41 cards and like, this is the 41st card. It's just absolutely fantastic. Because if you open it, it's just like, all right, GG, have yeah. fun. <laughs> And moving right along to the extra deck. We're playing double copies of number one, double copies of number two, double of three, one four, wow. and then one C1. You don't have to play these ratios, but just like for extra deck space, the Numeron cards all have the same effects where they can't be destroyed by battle. And then you can detach a material to double the attack of all Numeron cards you control that turn. Your field spell makes it so you don't have to detach. So like, it's super duper ridiculous. Obviously these cards are just a one turn OTK. They can make 8,000 no problem. And the reason we're playing two, 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 and then the one is because we do want to have extra room for the C1. I know that a lot of players are not choosing to play the C1, but it's come up multiple games in testing. A lot of boards that you can't out, you just Numeron calling out a couple of them, and then you just slap this on top of C1, banish the entire field. Like, it's so good. Clears boards, does burn damage, and then because you're playing a trap deck, it's a little bit slower. Your opponent committed a ton of resources to their board. You've got a whole set of back row, and then you can just play for free. Like, it's, it's really, really fun. Super interactive. Sounds like a good time. And then speaking of interactive and fun, playing the one couple with Zexel. Wow. And you guys thought Mystic Mind was bad? Well, bam. Here's yeah. just don't play the turn. Yeah, this card is really unfair. This card needs to be banned. That's the reason we're showcasing this deck, is just so you guys know how to play this deck and or play around this deck. It is really strong and it is relatively unfair. So we just want to showcase the cards and what they do. Zexel says your opponent can't play on their turn. Literally, it says skip your opponent's turn. It's funny because all this time, Zexel has been such a like pain card to get out at all because it has such specific stipulations, but then they released the Numeron engine and they were like, ha ha ha, we've been waiting all this time. Here's 
we go. Let's stir up the meta pot. And then here we go. So, yeah. Yeah, this card's unfair. This shouldn't be banned. And then rounding out for our Xyz, we are playing the one Gustav Max and then the one Juggernaut Lieb. These are just really awesome train cards, two level 10s. For this guy, you could obviously burn, you could slap this on, make it 6k, attack everything your opponent controls. Like, this is your conductor. And then like a real big shout out to Konami for giving us the matching Ultra Rare as the Lost Art. Super cool, it looks really good. So nice. They just look really good next to each other. Big guns, am I right? You pen players, you lift stuff, don't you? <laughs> Uh, and then rounding out for the extra deck and the links, we are playing the one copy of Cyframe Lord Lambda. Say we that five times fast, <laughs> bet. The one BLS, the one Mega Clops, and then the one Access Code Talker. You don't have to play these, everyone's playing this card, but like Lambda is just because it has synergy with our side deck and it's two generic monsters. You can just get them off the field, especially if they're your Eldritch Bells and Traps. So you can banish them to set more resources, play the advantage game. BLS is just like, BLS is just non-targeting removal. It's ridiculous. It becomes 4,500, can't be targeted. Like it's just, it can't be targeted. It's crazy, like the card's enough. Mega Clops is a 4,000 monster that's basically unaffected by everything except the Xyz cards. It is vulnerable to spells and traps, which a lot of players are playing outs with now, and then access code is just going in for game. So that being said, we're going to move on to a test hand and just like a little combo tutorial real quick to show what this deck is capable of doing. So on our channel, we like to give a detailed description of what the majority of the cards do, and we also want to show a representation of the deck. So we do have a different build of this deck up. If you want to go check that out, feel free, but y'all are pendulum players. You probably want to know how to stop this deck. So we're going to show a test hand real quick and then showcase where you guys can hit this deck where it hurts the most. So we'll ask our opponent to cut. Make the Zexo players feel bad. <laughs> if we're going first, uh, we're going to see a network. That sucks to be our opponent. Oh my God, a Scarlet Sanguine sucks to be our opponent. And oh, Ash, geez. wow, oh, a calling. Geez. And then, an, oh my God, yeah. I mean, like, this really sucks to be Loaded. our opponent. So what I would do here to bait an Ash is I would activate the Cursed Elblin in our scale, obviously, for Pendulum players. <laughs> We'll pay eight and we'll search a Conquistador. Okay, so with five cards in our hand and then obviously the Cursed Elden in our scale, now we are free to activate our Numeron Network to send the Numeron Calling from our deck to our graveyard as cost. Remember, it's cost, so you can't ash it. So like, realistically, we still have this ridiculous play. And then on resolution, this will copy this and we'll summon the one, the two, and the three. That is typically where I will stop, especially because I know game one, most people main deck Nibiru as opposed to no material. No material is more of a side deck card, but I will say no material is definitely a blowout because if the Eldritch player goes and summons four monsters, you're kind of screwed because Nibiru is like gonna ruin them when they summon the Zexel. Or if they summon the three like I just did here, the no material is going to stop you from going into Zexel. So it really just depends. You can kind of read your opponent. Game one, game two, game three, just kind of fill your opponent out and just fill out the situation too. You'll never be able to like actually know but Nibiru is definitely more of a main deck card than it is a side deck card as opposed to no material. So that's one of the ways to stop this deck. The other way is on activation. This sends for cost, but if you have a Gamma or an Ogre, this will not copy at resolution. So you could pop this and then you won't get this. And then your opponent is really just left with like three cards in hand that they can use. But let's pretend that our opponent had no interruption. What we'll do here, Will Xyz summon into our Utopic Zexal. This card is really, really nasty because it says your opponent can't play on their turn. Obviously, we'll set two cards, one of which is the Conquistador and the other which is the Scarlet Sanguine. Um, our opponent is uh, playing Mech Knights or something, so we're going <laughs> to play around Mech Knights. We have two cards in hand, one of which is an Ash. Really, really strong. So how this is going to work is we're going to go to our opponent's turn. On the draw phase, we're going to activate Zexal. Detaching a material so that our opponent cannot activate cards for the rest of the turn. Now we did draw Busted, AKA we drew a scale that allows us to search something. <laughs> and then we drew a way to get to Eldritch. So one of the play around ways for Eldritch players, such as myself, is if you activate Zexal and then your opponent has like an Imperm or a Chalice or something to negate the Zexal, you can activate the Conquistador is chain link three to the Imperm and then chain link four will be the Scarlet Sanguine. So chain link four resolve, special summoning Eldritch. And then because we control Eldritch, this will pop Pop the Zexal. Your opponent's in perm will resolve without target, and then the Zexal did activate, so it will resolve. So at the end of the board, you'll have these two monsters on field. The Zexal will have still resolved. We'll basically have an Ash and something else in our hand, and you can't play for the remainder of your turn. Plus, on my next turn, we have a Scarlet Sanguine to banish, and then we're gonna draw another Conquistador. Like, it's ridiculous. This deck is really strong, it's really, really overpowered, and it's definitely something y'all should be keeping an eye out for because this deck is not fun to play against. It doesn't look fun. Oh, and of course we have another search off of our scale. 
I mean, like, you guys are pendulum players, so you probably don't have a ton to worry about. Your brains are bigger, your boss monster is a spell <laughs> trap negate, so, like, anything you really hit in the Numeron section of the deck, just, like, it kills this part of the deck. So, yeah. you're just playing against Eldritch, which is obviously, as Trip always says, not a problem. Yeah, stop the Numerons and you're playing against Eldritch, which is not an issue for you guys, so. But that being said, we just wanted to showcase what this tier zero deck is doing right now. <laughs> we want to thank Triff so much for having us on the channel. If y'all are not already subscribed to Triff, like, go down and subscribe to Triff. He's not only one of the best, if not the best Yu-Gi-Oh player in the world. But he's pretty cute, too. I don't know. I follow Triff because he's cute. And he's got a cat now. Indy Meow. She's perfect. We'll slap her on the screen. There she is. And he's funny. <laughs> But yeah, subscribe to the Pen God if you're not already. If not, I don't know what you're doing here, you silly Billy. But also feel free to come check us out. We're at Crush Cards. We're, we're cute. We got a bunch <laughs> of stuffed alpacas, and I think we're cute too. I don't know. We have a good time. Join the sub squad. But thanks so much for having us here, team. We're super happy we got to be featured today. Super grateful for all y'all. Y'all are super cute. We're so glad the superior deck let us feature today so that we could show you this mediocre garbage. Yeah, don't play pink cards. <laughs> Keep playing your, your orange and green cards. Y'all got it. What the hell is an orange card? Pendulum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we love you. You matter. Come check us out over on our channel team. Pen Best Deck. Let's go. Hope you guys liked the video. Big shout out to Crush Cards for coming onto the channel. I'm a big fan of them. Keep doing what you guys are doing. If you guys love the video, go check out their channel down below. Go subscribe to both Triff and Crush Cards and get your beautiful one day only. Joker, Kieran, Double Irons, Playmats, Thor, Captain America, and Iron Man are ready to take on the meta. And that's the boys right here. The boys right here. I don't care if they're banned. They're coming back. So get yours now and destroy Thanos and destroy the meta. Hope you guys like the video. We'll see you guys next video. Peace. Let's kill him properly this time.